If you are interested in becoming a project manager but feel you lack the experience, I will show you how in this video. Hello and welcome. In this channel, I talk about data analytics and project management and give you practical tips that help you excel in your career. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you along the way. There really isn't a formal term data project manager, but I see it as an individual who leads projects related to data for companies. This could range from data engineering, data science, data analytics, and complex deployment of tools, which involve elusive terms like change management. The first and most apparent benefit of starting the journey to such a role is progression and salary. A project manager can potentially be a step up from the role you are doing now. If so, with increased responsibilities comes increased compensation as well. The second reason is that it is a good step towards managing people. While you may not directly have somebody reporting to you as a project manager, you will still get a chance to manage people in some form. Getting the people management skills and experience in as early as possible is always beneficial. It is a good opportunity to practice it and to show others you are able to lead a team. In being a project manager, you will need to find the middle ground between barking orders and delivering work. All that is on top of dealing with a project that may be technically complex to begin with. The third benefit of leading projects is the exposure to management teams. Projects are endeavors selected by the executives to be done by the organization. A project manager will be the one building the plans, taking charge of the delivery and reporting back to management. Trust, budget and resources will be placed upon you with an expectation to deliver. In the midst of all that, you will get an exposure to management teams as you manage stakeholders and report on the progress. The first thing I did was to expose myself to how others were managing projects. If you currently work in an organization, take the opportunity to observe the project manager of your project. Take some time to shift the focus away from your individual role to the big picture and how it is being managed. Try to do this for a project you are personally a part of as you will be able to resonate better with the context. What I did was to observe how the project manager managed his team meetings, how he made decisions, how he aligned his team members, how he used digital tools, and also how he set the whole project up. I also spent a lot of time looking into how other project managers would do up their project charter and status reports. Along the way, I would also ask myself what I thought was done well and what I would have done differently. This helped me to ensure while I did not necessarily have the experience, I was still learning along the way. The second thing I did was to take the initiative to manage a project by myself. In the future, somebody could come along and tap you on the shoulder and ask you to lead a new project. This is where you can practice what you have observed from others. One thing to note is that you may not always be phrased as leading a project. Sometimes they could ask you to accomplish something, but you will need to use your own intuition to realize that it should be managed in the form of a project and use your own initiative to manage it in that way. That is to say with the right governance, with the right structured plans, the right updates and so on. A general rule for me is to ask myself how many stakeholders and how many steps are there. If there are more than three stakeholders and if it looks like you will take more than five steps, I usually think of it as a project. However, the initiative needs to come in when you may not be assigned a project. This was the case for me at the start. The best thing to do in such cases is to take the initiative. Find a problem that needs to be solved and organize the solution as a project. Get the buy-in from management to get it done, make the case for securing the resources and make the plan to get it done. And of course, actually execute and get it done. The third thing I did was to seek help from a mentor. A lot of learning comes from actually doing the work rather than by studying theory. However, a mentor comes in handy when you are presented with an unfamiliar situation that you may need advice on. You don't know what you don't know and second to getting actual experience, a mentor will actually be someone who can help you greatly. In my own experience, having a mentor changed the growth rate from linear to exponential. But of course, it goes without saying that this depends on who your mentor is, how relevant his experience is, how able and willing he is to guide you and help you, and how you approach and build the relationship with him. If you don't have somebody in mind, or if you don't want to bother them, this is where I shamelessly plug my fiber gig below, you can also speak to somebody like me. The goal is to take your questions to this person and get a more constructive and tailored feedback. Depending on what your goals are and your style of learning, you may have a preference on who you want to work with. What is important is to be comfortable talking to this individual, ensuring he or she can be of assistance and work at your pace. In short, you first need to decide if this is the path you want to go down. 
not everybody wants to be a project manager. Some people prefer being tech leads, some people prefer being team managers, and some people prefer being individual contributors, all of which are fine. However, if you are in a tech industry, or in any industry at all, and don't know where you want to go, but you want some exposure in general, then I highly recommend getting your hands dirty by managing a project, as the experience you will gain will be highly transferable. As everything, you will probably fail the first few times. Take things with a positive mindset and tell yourself it's better to make mistakes earlier on rather than later in your career. The key is simply practical experience. There is no substitute for actually managing projects, managing stakeholders, managing people, but actually doing it. So that's how I became a project manager without any experience. Is your experience different? Let me know in the comment section below.